So Jason, this is the first gearbox we've ever <laughs> shot in the darkness, and I've got to be honest, it's creeping me out a bit. Yeah, this isn't right, Jimmy. This I'm is not, not sure right. This. Look, um, and the only reason you can see us is because the Axis P3364LV camera that we're currently shooting on mm -hmm. has infrared capability, which yeah. is currently running. Mm -hmm. uh, if we flip over to our standard studio lighting condition, which oh. looks like this. Wow. wow. Okay. As we can see, what will happen is that the uh, the IP camera will go through and it will mm -hmm. readjust to the current change in lighting levels, and we'll we'll know that's going to happen yeah. over about 20 seconds. It's not it's not a really fast process, but it's not I think the intent that you put it in a room where the lights are on and off and on and off. No. Um, if that's the predictable lighting condition, you can mm. manually override all the controls, but mm. we're just letting the camera do its thing mm. by itself. Uh, at the moment, you're seeing us on the P2 camera. If we flip over to the Axis camera again, you can see that the image quality on this is really pretty damn amazing mm. for something that is a, a little dome camera and yep. and effectively I think it's worth about a sixth of what the the uh, HD camera we mm. normally shoot gearbox on yeah. okay. is so that's that's a pretty big price difference yeah um, you haven't had a chance to look at the uh, the web interface for this thing yet have you uh, no I haven't but um, you know reading about what you've written about it's it's meant to be really really good yeah yeah, yeah look I'm really impressed with this device as a whole um, uh, there are different stream profiles. You can stream video out in different formats, mm. whether it's motion JPEG or H.264 and so on. Uh, and Axis also do a range of network decoders. Oh, right. So you can stream all your power over Ethernet cameras mm -hmm. uh, into your network, and then uh, there's a piece of software which lets mm. you monitor multiple cameras at once. You can have up to 16 mm. on screen. Uh, but there's also this cool little external decoder which gives you, I think, DVI and composite video out. So, right. yeah, this this is this is certainly a, a very a very clever product. Mm. Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, you've got a bit of a theatre background. Yeah, look, uh, obviously, light changes in theatre a lot. Uh, as a solution, uh, particularly in the pit, when you're uh, aiming up at a conductor, you can be it can be completely dark. It can be it's suddenly very very bright, and having a, a very very small unobtrusive camera that adjusts well to that mm. is really important. But I mean, mainly, look, everyone should have one of these in their loading dock. Everyone should have one of these around their building, you know, it, and feeding in recording what's going on. You know, anything we can do to actually reduce theft and improve security yeah. is a very important thing. Power over Ethernet, you know, too yeah, easy. it's one cable, man. Yeah. And, and the other cool thing is that you can actually record not only to the SD card slot inside mm. the camera, mm. but you can also tell it to record to a network attached storage device. So right. if someone breaks in, uh, they can steal a camera or they can steal the network, you know, the, yeah. the network hard drive. Mm. There's not going to be like a DVR as such. Mm. Um, and that's what people normally steal. Yeah. So mm. there you go. The Axis P3364LV. Mm -hmm. um, we should probably put it on the desk so everyone can have a look, shouldn't we? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Stay here. I'm going to go and get the camera. So that's the do that. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, uh, install's really simple. You basically screw the camera up to whatever you're going to attach it to. Mm -hmm. Then there's a couple of Torx tamper resistant screws mm -hmm. that attach the dome. Um, the dome's slightly tinted and they do that so if it gets scratched, you don't get weird flares yep. when the IR kicks in. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? Um, look, pretty rugged, um, great image. Uh, yeah, and yeah, as you said, uh, six of the price of a comparable uh, HD camera. Yeah, one <laughs> one sixth of the price of, of, of our sort of entry level broadcast device. I reckon it certainly mm. gives you more than one sixth the quality. Mm. Great. Um, and and in in virtual darkness too. Mm. Yeah, let's not do that again. By the way, no, no <laughs> agreed. <laughs>